Hello everyone, welcome to Haley Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading, weekly singles love reading for Sagittarius. Let's see what's happening, Sagittarius. Sagittarius singles, energy surrounding you. You love prospects or interests. Sagittarius singles in their love life. Oops. Okay. Some of you may be at a making a choice here, a life path decision to move away, uh, to avoid a disaster with someone. Yeah, you may have something else coming in. I see things are speeding up. Oh my goodness. Maybe even multiple opportunities. Hmm. It could be an energy of travel as, as well here. Making a choice. You could have someone who's at a distance. Like I say, I see multiple opportunities. Uh, making a choice here to move away from one, maybe letting someone else in. Yeah, I see the end of burdens, responsibilities. Uh, maybe somebody's coming towards you that says a lot of baggage. <laughs> You've got a king of cups. Oh, yeah. You have somebody here who's definitely more dependable, more responsible. So I do see the three of wands. Maybe you've been waiting, waiting for that king of cups. Well, it looks like you have a king of cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or just a person who's uh, emotionally mature and available. So it looks like a choice. Now, it could be this person making a choice to move away from one to come towards you. I see this energy of uh, someone in a hurry, hurrying up here. So I definitely see an energy of someone who's you know, taking responsibility here, trying to maybe do the right thing. So, yeah, let's have a look here. What is this Two of Wands all about for Sagittarius? Yeah, there you are. You're sitting there waiting. Yeah, you know what you want. You're not settling. So you may have choices as well. But this is an energy of a crossroads. It has to do with making a decision, taking the lessons you've learned from the past, you know, applying them to the future. Yeah, a cycle is ending, a new cycle beginning. Well, yeah, we got someone here who's decisive. Okay, and it could be yourself becoming more decisive, more clear about your life path, your choices in love. I see incoming and maybe even, like I say, multiple opportunities. You may have somebody who maybe moved a little too fast, uh, possibly. But I can see the energy of taking the lessons you've learned, knowing when to move away to avoid a disaster. You're tempering your passions, pulling back, kind of, you know, looking at things. This could be someone who's your different, different than your usual type. Okay, so maybe that's where you're ready. Maybe, you know, uh, to make a choice, someone who's different. Because if you have a pattern uh, or you're used to the same type of person, somebody who's rushes in and then backs out, okay? It's a person who chooses their battles. And it could be yourself choosing, okay, to move away to avoid a disaster. You may feel something feels off, but I'll tell you, things are about to go in your favor. And it does look like trying something different, someone different than your usual type. You know, it's definitely, yeah, see, I definitely see options and possibilities, a little fantasizing, making some kind of a choice. Hmm. Yeah, you may, you're de definitely in that energy. You know what you want. You're nobody's option here. <laughs> but it looks like options, possibilities, things speeding up. Yeah, you're heading down a path with someone more compatible. It looks like you have someone who's not compatible. And you may be kind of pulling back, looking at this person, kind of checking them out. You may feel that, you know, they're different. Something feels off. Like I say, it looks like you have some sort of a choice, life path decision, or a choice between two. Ten of Wands, why is this here? Yeah, so it's definitely a little stress and worry, a little regret. It could be some kind of unfounded fear because this is definitely somebody who's, you know, not afraid of putting themselves out there, being open emotionally. See, it's what you've been waiting for, you know. So, you know, it's energy of looking, maybe too too little too late with someone. You know, maybe you feel like it's too late, the ship has sailed. But I actually feel like you have a person who's in that energy. See, they're in a hurry. This is someone who, like I say, they, you know, they, you know they're somebody who's now ready. Ooh, King of Cups, yeah, it looks like a choice in love. This is someone definitely looking for love, a bond, a connection. See, this is the person who's likely waited for a very long time to meet the right person. They more than likely have some fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. It definitely has to do with um, baggage, responsibilities, burdens, lifting. So there's a cycle that's definitely over here. You may have someone who wasn't very responsible, reliable, or, you know, someone who didn't pull their weight. But there's definitely the 
energy of um, unfounded fear or regret here. So it looks like you're just sort of sitting on the fence trying to decide, okay? Yeah, see, this is somebody who definitely wants to put in the work. They want to build something. Yeah, it's a person putting in the effort. See, you have someone here who possibly didn't put in a lot of effort. Maybe they had a lot of baggage or uh, too many responsibilities, but whatever it is you're waiting for, it looks like it's coming. Yeah, three of wands for Sagittarius. This one here wants to come out. Ah, uh, yeah, see, this is the energy of someone who rushes in. Now, this could even be yourself just on the fence trying to decide. There's something maybe doesn't feel right with someone. So it has to do with choosing your your words, choosing your battles, something that's worth fighting for. You see, it looks like you're taking lessons learned. You're ending a cycle. Things are shifting in your favor. Okay. Yeah, I feel we got a person who wants to build with you. They, you know, someone perfecting their craft and skills, making a choice in love. See, it's an energy of waiting, rushing in, rushing out. It's also an energy of someone feeling a little pressured. If someone comes on too fast, too strong, they're more in a hurry. Okay, yeah. See, somebody here feeling a little pressured. Could definitely be yourself feeling a little pressured. Someone coming on too fast, too strong, things are moving too quick. Uh, you, but you've got opportunities coming in. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. It has to do with uh, compatibility, the things you have in common. Yeah, you've got somebody who's definitely not telling you something here. You know, it's possible there's someone who's keeping something to themselves. Uh, but it's also an energy of someone who's curious. See, someone choosing their battles. They're curious. Yeah. Yeah, there's the opportunity. Uh, it looks like you have an op another opportunity. You may be keeping this to yourself. It's possible it's yourself, just not really saying a whole lot. But it has to do with making a choice. Whether someone's compatible, that you're on the same page, you get each other. You know, do you have things in common? But it has to do with uh, two people coming together to build. It's an energy of someone building up the confidence as well here. You see that King of Cups. Tell me more about this King of Cups. What is it they want? Oh, they want to move. They're not afraid of wearing their heart on the sleeve or putting themselves out there. It might be a little too much for you, like you feel a little pressured. It looks like they're in a hurry uh, to commit or to take things to the next level. Okay? Tell me about temperance. This is tempering the passions, tempering those words. You know, just being calm, you know, taking that moment to kind of look at things. This could actually go in your favor. I feel they're just, you know, someone who's a little different than usual type, the different temperament, you see. But it looks like you're moving away from someone here. You have this opportunity for a fresh new start. You know, a little bit of fear. This is often un, unfounded fear, okay? Uh, it could be some kind of regret, yeah, so there's a lot of focus on being grounded, practical, and sensible, making sure you don't have regrets. So it's about looking at the details of a situation. Yeah. yeah. We have the investing, waiting patiently. While you're waiting, you're focused on your money, your finances. You're just being practical and sensible. Now, some of you do have a lot on your plate. You may be very busy. Okay. I definitely see that energy as well. But I feel it has to do with investing and waiting uh, for the right opportunity. See, while you're waiting, you've got someone coming in. Like I say, you might feel a little pressured. It could be them as well. I definitely feel they could have fire in their chart. A little Gemini energy, but it has to do with choosing. See, so I do see an energy of taking a little break. Clearing out negative thoughts, energy, sort of healing. So maybe you're just getting over something and you're focused more on your finances. You're waiting for the right opportunity. See, I feel it has to do with timing. Okay. Yeah. See, it has to do with choosing the one, choosing between two. It's possible you have someone here who is definitely regretting coming on too fast, too strong. They rushed in too quick and then felt pressured. But I feel it could even be yourself, okay? So it's saying to just temper those passions. It's, it's the energy of just being calm, okay? Yeah, see, it has to do with control. It's about letting go of control, okay? Beautiful. But you have someone here who's determined, 
you see i also see energy of not being ruled by your emotions you're trying to be patient here so it's telling you to just kind of be patient let go of control don't try to control this energy but i feel like you've got somebody here possibly cancer okay or they're just coming in in that energy they're determined this is someone who's determined see you've got this opportunity yeah if you have a person here who maybe wasn't telling you the truth well, maybe keeping something to yourself you're going to tell if something feels off that's why i feel like you're moving on you're you know, taking less you know taking the lessons you've learned and it's also energy of someone taking the time to get to know you you see being calm being patient uh, not being ruled by the mo um, uh, emotions but staying on course see it's energy of being determined so some of you are out of here okay yeah you may have rushed into something maybe you're rushing out now you know someone may have pressured you but you have a person wearing their heart on their sleeve now this is an energy of seeing the bigger picture as well by pulling back and looking at it different this could be the one okay but i see the energy of being you know, grounded you know it's kind of just sleeping on it here clearing out negative energy and healing and releasing so it has to do with the passion you see taking things maybe to the next level someone may be in more of a hurry now the next level could be the physical connection maybe something feels off they're just not your type you know there may be a lack of chemistry but i'm going to tell you they're rushing in and out you have multiple opportunities you have another opportunity here okay so yeah and i can see the energy of just taking a little pause now this could be someone who's checking you out it has to do with looking at things from another person's perspective so they're definitely not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve of expressing themselves putting themselves out there so yeah and if you felt pressured because they came in too fast and too strong it's telling you to just take a pause and look at it from their perspective this could be the one yeah we have the birth of something new here it could be someone checking you out as well like i feel you've got new okay i feel this incoming um but definitely it has to do with someone taking more time to get to know someone before you make a decision at first you may feel something is off because they have a different temperament they kind of go about things differently so they're they're definitely determined but i do feel they're emotionally mature now you may have someone here who's not very mature not really ready okay could be yourself or you're not quite sure but look at this beautiful energy empress energy something new the burdens lifting see it's energy of taking responsibility looking at things from a different perspective yeah a little bit of a light bulb moment it's about getting that clarity yeah, you got new well, it's more than likely someone checking you out but often it's just an energy of taking a pause okay taking a little break healing looking at things different so you may be feeling differently after a period of time here it looks like a new person yeah see you've got a king of cups <laughs> this person's definitely mature okay they definitely are they're not ruled by their emotions they're tempering their emotions tempering their passions they're waiting patiently okay if you are still healing or getting over something they will be patient but they're going to show you they're invested this all has to do with the timing whether the timing is right maybe the timing is off maybe you weren't healed and someone came on too fast and strong it's, yeah you got an energy of dating and courting see it's, it's also an energy some of you may have had someone who was a little wishy-washy they may have rushed in okay uh, they may have rushed in too fast and you felt pressured but it looks like you have a choice you know, possibly between two this is a life path a decision it's about knowing what you want and not settling if something feels off it may feel off like i say it's up to you to decide but that wheel of fortune is a whole new cycle you see things are it has to do with the timing and the timing being now okay taking opportunities when they're presented there's i feel like you have a lot of abundance a lot of positive energy coming towards you but this person is definitely someone who's you know in control they're definitely someone who is whining and dining see they're tempering that need to be in a hurry you see so if it is the same person coming back around for another opportunity a do-over another chance okay they're definitely open okay um they're not afraid of putting themselves out there but it's taking that pause and looking at this okay looking at this from a different perspective seeing the bigger picture yeah seeing things from their perspective and probably vice versa 
But yeah, it looks to me it looks like more like something new. Um, yeah, you've got a somebody with a King of Pentacles energy, a little Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now this is a person who's generally financially stable, focused a lot on their future, their money. They have a lot on their plate, a lot of responsibilities. This is someone I feel, maybe they feel responsible, I don't know, if it is the same person. Some of you, it's new. I see options, possibilities, multiple. Okay, It has to do with whether someone, you know, is your type, if they're on the same path, you get each other, things that you have in common. Somebody here is definitely not clear, uh, but there's definitely an energy of curiosity. Someone may be curious if you've started something new. It's definitely some of you, it could be a person wanting another chance, another opportunity. They may be seeing you as the one, but it really has to do with yourself. See, focusing on the wand or the one. King of Pentacles. Now, they don't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel with this energy, it's definitely an energy read. A lot of focused on the long-term planning, their financial future. It's a person who's often ready. See, maybe you have somebody who's not ready, someone who is. They're definitely financially stable. Okay, definitely. So it could very well be the same person. But some of you, like I say, um, too little, too late. And you have this other opportunity. Definitely looks like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Invitation, dating, courting, introducing to friends and family. That could be the level where somebody here. Like I say, if you have somebody who won't introduce you to their friends and family or, you know, they won't get you out there. You know, they want to uh, keep you all to themselves. <laughs> You know, I, I feel like this other person is definitely this opportunity. So I see positive news, invitations. You know, you're getting some kind of an invitation here. A party, a celebration, a get-together. This is definitely a person who's seeing the bigger picture, long-term planning. Okay? So if it is a person coming back around and they want another, another chance here, I feel like you're going to just ground yourself and look at the situation. It's telling you to look at things from their perspective. Okay? But it's also about them doing the same. See? Yeah. So there's definitely an energy. Some of you have a new crush. Now, this is often, if there's children involved here, family, children. This could be someone who's actually ready for family or, and children. Uh, definitely someone who gives gifts. They're sentimental. So I do see a, a, a gift, maybe some flowers. There's definitely something romantic here. But it's someone who's going to show you that they like you. You know, maybe they just want to keep it simple at first. I definitely see someone, you know, tempering that passion. I mean, it could be you, but it could be them. You may be different than their usual type. <laughs> Maybe it's yourself. You're just different, okay? But they definitely see that beautiful Empress energy, this uh, beautiful creative energy, somebody who's loving, nurturing, caring, and kind. You know, maybe this is someone who sees you as the future mother of their children. But they're going to, and they're sentimental, definitely sentimental. Could be someone who's never had children. So like I say, they may be just curious. You know, there's definitely some kind of fascination and some kind of a choice. They're fantasizing here about being with you long term. Uh, maybe even having children. <laughs> mm, but they will show you they like you. You know, they'll give you little gifts. They're creating memories, you see. Uh, like I say, it could be someone who's reminiscing here. It's definitely a person who... Um, maybe you ran maybe you ran away from them or they ran away from you but the empress energy tells me it's an energy of being open you see it's a healing energy see some of you are definitely you know what you want and you're not settling so yeah there's definitely some kind of well, someone who feels like there's no hope yeah it could be someone missing you you may be weighing the pros and the cons here uh, juggling, trying to make a decision here, back and forth, on and off. Someone's trying to make a choice. Like, more than likely yourself, but with that pentacles, it could be them, you know, weighing the pros and the cons of marriage, children, or like I say, someone who feels like there's no hope. Someone may have some kind of regret here if they are the person. It all depends who did the rushing in and out. It could be someone who felt a little pressured. Definitely could be them feeling pressured and, you know, uh, took off in the other direction. Things maybe were moving too fast. It's definitely looking at things. See, it has to do with being confident about making a decision. 
Yeah, so someone taming the beast here, taming the beast. This is yourself teaching someone how you want to be treated as well. But this is somebody here who's taming that beast within themselves. See, making a decision. It's about being confident. Now, some of you, like I say, um, this they may have Leo in their chart. But I feel as this person here is uh, needs to be confident about making a choice. And if it's yourself and you feel like it's yourself, should I or shouldn't I, or you have a choice between two, it has to do with being confident, you know, being practical with the Queen of Pentacles and being sensible, just grounding yourself, see, taking a little break, maybe sleeping on it, making a decision in the morning when you feel fresh and your mind is clear, but it has to do with choosing the one, the right person. A lot of focus on the wand, a lot of focus on that physical yeah, taking something to the next level. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, see how someone conducts themselves. It's about having faith. Uh, maybe you're just not on the same page with someone. You don't get each other. Or you have just have different lifestyles, you see. It's an energy of at that crossroads in life and making a choice. Making sure you're on the same page. Like I feel some of you definitely aren't on the same page with someone. Okay, maybe somebody wasn't faithful. I don't know, but it has to do with that life path and being confident uh, about this life path. It definitely, there's an energy of someone who wasn't reciprocating. See, it's an energy of someone who likely lacked the confidence, but I feel it has to do with you making a decision you're confident with. Okay, and I feel this is somebody who's definitely, it definitely could be a do-over, but I don't feel there was a relationship to speak of here. Okay. And I definitely see this beautiful energy uh, with the Empress, the birth of something new and the King of Cups and the dating. Uh, looks like you definitely have somebody who's emotionally mature and available. And then you have someone who's maybe a little wishy-washy, not 100% sure, okay? Not 100% confident. So it has to do with reciprocity, equal give and take. So uh, definitely if you see some of you no longer giving to someone, no longer reaching out. Uh, and moving on. It looks like you have a new opportunity. Yeah? So you're manifesting something new. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you may have someone who kind of manipulated you a little bit because they weren't confident. So again, that's where that hangman comes in, looking at things from their perspective. Maybe you were the one in a hurry. But if something feels off, it generally is. Like I feel, you got this choice. So something is going to can go in your favor. So I feel it's just saying take a pause and look at it from a different perspective. This is something that could actually go in your favor. Someone who's different, more open emotionally. Okay, that's what I feel. You've got a king of cups and a knight of cups. Someone is a bit wishy-washy. Yeah, they may be dating, but they're back and forth. They may even have another person. Okay, so I do see the bread crumbing, but it has to do with the lack of reciprocity, the way someone conducts themselves. Yeah, you may, like I say, you may just be going, no, I don't think so here. Something doesn't feel right. Uh, you're moving on because I definitely feel with the Empress, you're taking the lessons you've learned from the past. Okay, that's the Empress energy here. Staying on course, not letting your emotions rule you, being grounded and sensible, sleeping on it, not being in a rush. Okay. Tell me about this Ten of Cups with this King of Cups. Yeah, see? There it is. Knowing when to move away to avoid a disaster. Taking your lessons learned. You've got incoming. Now, it does look like someone who wants, some of you have someone who wants another opportunity. Now, I feel like you're distancing yourself from someone, though. Yeah. Somebody here wants to get to know you more. Now, it could be someone who has regrets for not... Uh, giving you more time, more energy, taking the time to get to know you. You see, it's energy of just calming down, taking the lessons that they've learned. So you may be teaching someone here how you want to be treated, taming the beast. <laughs> yeah. See, a little guarded, a little defensive. See, this is where you stand up for yourself. So it's you're, you're, I feel with yourself, you're just being a little careful what you believe. See? A little careful what you believe. You may have someone here who's kind of pushed you away, and it could be yourself letting your guard down. They, if you have someone who's different, okay? At first, sometimes when a person comes in and they're different than your usual type, you just feel like they're not your type, you might be surprised if you take a little time to get to know them, okay? 
it's just friends first kind of energy with the Queen of Pentacles. But it's definitely an energy of being uh, defensive, guarded, pushing someone away. Okay, maybe it's yourself pushing someone away here because they're they're different. Taming the beast, Empress energy, taking those lessons learned. Yeah, you've got a, a King of Wands here. Somebody here definitely um, is also in the energy of being careful what they believe. Also an energy of someone letting their guard down. See, I feel like you've got a, a, someone here who's just different. They're more emotionally open and mature maybe you've not experienced that okay and then you have this king of wands very focused on the wand the physical there's more focus on the physical attraction than there is on the emotional okay the connection between two tell me more about this king of wands yeah so we have an energy of someone who comes in right treats you right somebody maybe wasn't fair they didn't take enough time to get to know you or they're focused on the physical okay the physical attraction it's a person who rushes in because they're really attracted to someone and then they maybe it's possible like they say maybe it's them feeling something is off with you okay but yet there's this chemistry you know but yet there's other things that aren't quite right so there's the aha moment that comes with the hanged man, the Pisces, the introspection, the light bulb goes, goes off. Aha. <laughs> See, it has to do with truth, success and victory, win or lose. Yeah, you win some, you lose some, right? But, you know, honestly, I feel a lot of this is you having to make this choice, this life path. If it isn't between two people, it has to do with taking something to the next level. Maybe it's yourself, you're not so sure with this person, something feels off. Like I say, you know, you're manifesting, having all the tools, the information. Somebody here is curious, okay? They're manifesting the information, the tools, everything that they need to know before they come towards you. It's someone who probably should have decided what they wanted. For those of you where you've, you're moving on from someone, someone who should have decided what they want before they started something, okay? Yeah, it could be yourself here, Saj. Like I say, you may have rushed in and then felt something was off. Okay, lack of chemistry. But, you know, that aha moment is somebody here who sees the truth, success, victory. This is someone, win or lose, they're coming towards you uh, to talk to you, to communicate something they may have kept to themselves. Okay, maybe they just felt you weren't their type. But I'll tell you, you're different, you see. This is where I, it starts to turn. The wheel of fortune you know where somebody is now seeing this could have gone uh, in their favor they should have told you the truth so it definitely looks like a do-over somebody wanting another opportunity but you know like i say i see the birth of something new you may have another person coming in uh, to date you i definitely see the king of cups the king of swords and the king of pentacles so opportunities I feel like you're open, okay? I feel like you're open. The Empress is always open to other possibilities. So like I say, someone could be kind of checking you out here. Definitely someone crushing. For some of you, it's a new crush. Uh, there's a person who is going to show you they like you uh, by giving you little gifts, like I say. And then you, maybe it's yourself here where you're taming that beast, possibly even within yourself, teaching someone else how you want to be treated. Someone didn't treat you right or they weren't fair. So like I say, you've got a couple of, it looks like there's going to be a little confusion here. So there it is. There's the leap of faith. I see some Aries energy here as well, taking that leap of faith, leaving something behind and going off on this path. So it has to do with taking a bit of a risk. Somebody here is about to throw caution to the wind. I feel they're going to come towards you, win or lose. Mm-hmm. I see truth, success, and victory. This is a person like I feel, like you've got someone here who maybe felt something was off. Okay. And you're different than their usual type because you are someone who stands up for themselves. You are definitely... Um, somebody who's very passionate about your beliefs yeah, this is an energy of being careful what you believe and being very passionate Ooh. but that pause is where i feel everything changes i feel like you're just keeping your options open like you're open okay for someone to shower the abundance here so i definitely feel the there's a few people around you 
Um, I mean, it is an energy of taking a leap of faith, leaving something behind and going down this path. Somebody here maybe feels like a little bit of a fool as well. Maybe someone made a decision of some sort and they're having that moment where they realize um, that they should have spent more time with you. They should have took more time to get to know you before they made a decision because that Knight of, of Swords energy, is it a Knight of Swords? I thought I'd seen that. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. See that uh, someone choosing their battle, somebody made a choice. See, somebody kept something to themselves. They uh, chose the words, right? They chose their words wisely and chose their battles. They weren't sure this is something worth fighting for. But now after a pause, they, uh, they see this. Now, if you're already seeing this person, they're definitely ready to take a leap of faith. See, it's a partnering up. Two people looking out for each other's best interests. So you know, this could be somebody in your social circle or someplace where you go. If you have a place where you go, a habit where you you go and you socialize, could be where you shop, a park, someplace where you you frequent. Okay, it's a like a routine, um, some kind of in your day to day life, some kind of structure. This person will likely reach out to you wherever this is. Okay, uh, the leap of faith, going down this path. But, you know, as far as yourself goes here, I feel as though, like I say, you're leaving something behind. Look at that. You've got a connection with someone. Like maybe you just want to be friends first. Maybe you have a friend here who, like I say, it's possible they want to take things to a different level. But I really feel somebody here was definitely fantasizing but there's something that's off maybe the compatibility you know, lifestyle habits the way you live your day-to-day -day lives it almost to be honest looks like it's them okay now seeing things different they're now seeing this empress energy where before you were different something was off but i feel as far as yourself just temper your passions okay temper yourself and be patient things are about to switch in your favor yeah, so it's just about perspective and seeing things, you know, maybe you just didn't see eye to eye on some things with a particular person. There's definitely other people involved. You, know, you may be taking like reflecting on your past, the lessons you've learned, you see. Maybe you've taken risks in the past and you're no longer in that energy of taking risks. But there's an energy of two people manifesting each other. I see a soulmate connection, maybe just friends first. Okay, King and Queen of Pentacles, the power couple. Mm hmm taking a little more time to get to know each other uh, definitely could be a new crush though like i say you've got something new here mm -hmm. maybe yourself maybe you're crushing on someone else but it looks like you know king of pentacles queen of pentacles power couple two people you know focused on money finances but it's about partnering up so i do see a date i see an invitation could somebody take you out for dinner here or you just meet someplace? Tell me about this Two of Cups for Sag. You know, some really good energy. You know, it's all the Six of Swords. is all about the lessons learned. It's also about taking more time to get to know each other, being friends first, you see? Yeah, because it looks like somebody felt something was off here. It's an energy of someone who's something off as someone who's a different type but yet there's this chemistry you see there's this uh, some kind of a connection here two of cups and we have three of pentacles there it is cooperation compromise compatibility see leaving someone behind definitely an energy of at least three and then we have the moon see two people showing their true selves you have somebody who's kind of keeping a secret maybe it's a person who has a choice between two could be yourself like i say just keeping it to yourself till you're sure you're compatible okay two people showing their true selves with the moon yeah being completely emotionally naked <laughs> There's also an energy of that physical uh, connection too. See, you've got a king of cups looking for love, but I feel this is somebody who kind of sees love as that physical as well. So there's lessons being learned. Too much focus on the physical, more than likely. But yeah, it's a person, win or lose, coming in to tell you the truth. They're taking a pause. It's victory and success. Yeah, and we have the Empress. Yep, there it is. See? 
Some of you got a couple people seeing you this way, but this person's definitely seeing that beautiful Empress energy. This is what they want, the truth. This person possibly sees you as the one. Yeah, you're definitely different um, than what they usually go for. And like I say, it could even be yourself feeling that energy. Let's have a look at the chariots. A chariot is someone emotionally mature, determined to stay on course, determined for this to be successful. You know, some of you too, like I say, if you have someone who doesn't reciprocate, you're not on the same page, you've learned those lessons to move away to avoid a disaster. <laughs> Very well could have been yourself here. Yeah, too much pressure, things moving too fast. Maybe you're the one who is moving fast and this person maybe felt pressured. I don't know, but flip that however you wish. The chariot. There we go. Ah, justice, balance. See, it's where something doesn't feel right. So it has to do with whether something is someone's right for you or not right for you. It's about being fair, taking the time to get to know someone to be fair. Somebody may not have been fair, okay? Because I'm going to tell you, sometimes there's two people where it starts off, it doesn't feel right because they're different. Especially if you have a habit, you have a type, okay? If you have a particular type. Uh, maybe telling you it's time to try something different. And it could be this person trying something different, being dating and courting, just being friends first, hanging out, spending time together as you, because I definitely see the energy of the Six of Swords, two people growing closer as they get to know each other, forming a bond. Yeah. Sometimes the chemistry is not always right there, you know. I'm going to say dating and courting, you just never know. Look at that element of chalices. So this tells me there's a lot of emotion. See, a lot of emotion. Oh, yeah. Somebody's much more emotional. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Just I, I feel like, honestly, it's just telling me, try it. You know, give this person a try. Maybe a chance. You know, because I feel like they're, they're coming in right. But if you have a choice and someone's not right, absolutely move on. Don't waste your time. Don't sit around waiting. Okay, wasting your time, wasting your energy. But I got to tell you, whoever, it all depends to me in this reading, whether it's them who felt there was something off with you or you felt that with them. But I can definitely see the energy of this beautiful, the birth of something new. See, someone's seeing, aha, they're seeing you in a whole new light. You see, if it's about taking the time to get to know each other as you grow closer, learning about each other. You see, you might be quite surprised. And if it's not you, it's them. Wow. Yeah, two people definitely being emotionally naked. See, there's things that are hidden, a little bit of confusion. You see, about whether two people are right for each other, compatibility, but it's about compromising. It's about two people who come together and build each other up. You lift each other up, lift up each other's confidence. Maybe they weren't as confident. Maybe you weren't, okay? Well, there's a lot of, uh, I feel a lot of introspection about that. If you have a person who's been checking you out, maybe waiting, you know, to find out if you're if you're single or available. I feel like you're open with the the Empress, definitely open to dating and courting. But you know your worth and your value. See, you're different. Yeah, this is somebody who's probably used to kind of getting what they want, being indulged, because it looks like they're quite attractive. They definitely they could be very successful too. So, you see, there's that energy. Yeah. But wow, beautiful Empress energy. Let's grab a couple of charms. Let's have a look at the magician. Yeah, I see the letter T. Yeah, there's a tower. See, that's a tower, some kind of an epiphany. Yeah, this could be, like I say, there's either a lack of chemistry with someone and a lot of chemistry with someone else. But yet you're different. Okay, you're different. This is someone totally different than your usual type. I can really see it now. But the manifesting is manifesting love. Yeah, see something long term. It's also an energy of manifesting the strength, something long term, being strong, confident. Ooh, something here may not be long term, like I say. And you've got this other opportunity. There's a transformation with the butterfly. It could be a Scorpio energy here. I can see um, there's the gift. See, this is an energy of being open to the gifts you're about to receive. This opportunity. Somebody may be, like I say, seeing you. Maybe you gave somebody a little gift. Maybe it wasn't reciprocated. Maybe they didn't put in effort. 
There's going to be a lot of little things here. Just take what resonates. But there's the bow, the gift. Something emotional. It looks like that Ace of Cups energy. You know, there's a call, a communication, a judgment. Someone may have judged you wrong or you judge them wrong. So it has to do with making a, ju a, a judgment quickly. Yeah, we know the Empress can often do that. But like I say, the Empress is always open to talk, to communicate, open for love. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, loving, nurturing energy. Very balanced. See, it all has to do with balance between two people. It's often an energy when you meet somebody where, you know, there's not a lot of chemistry at first. You may feel like, you know, I'm just going to move on. This isn't going to go in your favor kind of energy, you know, ending a cycle. But things are about to go in your favor. That's the interesting. I feel it's someone who... Um, like I say, it looks like a do-over and somebody has regrets or we have someone who has, like, you know, a little bit of fear of making the wrong choice. Maybe they're not sure that you're invested, but there's definitely a focus on timing, waiting for the right opportunity, releasing, see, healing, getting over something before you start something new. You or them. Let's have a look at this opportunity with the Ace of Cups. There's a decision that was made here. Yeah, there's the cycle ending and a fresh new start, a new opportunity, an invitation. Yeah, the letter Q and L. There's the heart with a key. Yeah, so you've got the key to someone's heart here, I'll tell you. The key is love. The key is being emotionally open. See, someone's cup runneth over with emotion. They may have kept it to themselves. Maybe they felt things wouldn't go in their favor. Because you're definitely, like I say, it's almost like you, you would see at first it's mixed matched. But I actually feel like you're you know, very much the same in a lot of ways. Because that's what temperance is like sometimes, the mixing of two elements. Okay, You're both different, but yet you're very much the same because we have the king and queen of pentacles. So it's, it's it's sometimes in business or work relationship one person's really good at one thing and the other person's really good at other things and you come together to build you see so there's some kind of a partnership something long term here and it has to do with the three of pentacles the things you have in common uh, maybe you're both creative we have the king and queen of wands. Uh, maybe you're both focused on your finances. Maybe your home bodies, your practical, your sensible about how you spend your money, all kinds of things. You see, you're looking at those things. So there is a compatibility, but it has to do with the things that are hidden. You have to take time to see the things that are hidden, the things that you don't know. But it has to do, again, with two people showing their true selves, being yourselves. Just be yourself. OK, and they need to just be themselves. And then you you take a little time to get to know each other. If you feel they're not right, then you move on. But I like I say you may have had a couple of um, situations like this where you've learned a lot of lessons. But I still feel like you're open to this. Ace of Wands. There we have the letter C. There's the fish going with the flow. See? Somebody a little Pisces energy or just water energy, just going with the flow. See, swimming upstream. <laughs> Somebody definitely was, but you know, I can flip this over and it goes the other way as well. You see, there it is. See, just going with the flow, seeing what happens, taking time to get to know each other, growing closer. There's the wisdom. See, that inner knowing, being wise. Somebody is seeing. See, they're seeing things. It's definitely a person sometimes when they find someone really attractive and there's that physical connection that you know, some people focus on the physical. They're attracted by someone's physical looks. Other people are attracted by other things. That could be your differences, you know, different temperaments, the way you express yourselves, the way you put yourself out there. Some people don't put themselves out there that way emotionally. Others do. So... Yeah, so there's your balance between two. There we have, there's that glass of wine. See, there's two hearts. See, connection between two people. This is the key, is the key to the heart. I feel like you've got the key to someone's heart. They want to offer you this cup. Now I see a date, an opportunity. Now I see the abundance flowing. This is someone who sees you have a lot to offer. They see you as um, somebody who has... Um, some things that they like, uh, things that you have in common. See, they're looking at this. A little bit of a break, maybe a time out here for some of you. 
But it really looks it's about healing, releasing the past negative thoughts and energy. You see, you're taking time to heal before you start something. You know, I see an energy of dog. You both maybe love dogs or cats, pets. Mm -hmm. See, things you have in common. <laughs> could be horses, could be anything. Um, but yeah, this is definitely must love dogs energy for some of you or cats. I know I see a lot of that on my channel. So there's the judgment, see, making a decision to communicate and communicate from the heart. See, it's a person who's definitely feeling love here. They want love. They definitely do. It's the energy of someone who's likely longing for love, never met anyone like yourself. Uh, maybe it's a little bit overwhelming. Okay. So maybe they rushed in too quickly themselves and rushed out or they came on too strong for you. Yeah. And then we have love. So there it is. There's the love. And there's the back and forth. See, making a decision, weighing the pros and the cons, the rocking horse. See, back and forth. Yeah. And there's the there's the justice. See, doing things right, making the right choice. Fistful of dollars, justice. So it's energy of definitely financially stable. Someone who's responsible, reliable, pulls their weight. Yeah, somebody here's got a, possibly a little baggage or they just have a lot of weight on their shoulders. Now, it's possible to, if it is a do-over, where you had a couple dates with someone, they didn't go very well, or you felt like you had nothing in common, whatever the energy. So this could be someone who's feeling a little responsible. Okay? It's maybe something they didn't tell you or should have told you. But Ten of Wands is the end of a cycle. This is where the sun starts to shine, the burdens start to lift. Someone's releasing something here. So let's have a look at the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's an energy of seeing. See, this is energy of someone seeing. It could be someone looking to see if you're seeing anyone else. They may be checking you out on social media, online dating, in the community, talking to people. So it's somebody here who's seeing, and that's that hanged man. See, they're seeing things differently. And then we have made from the heart. They may make you something. It could be a little gift made from the heart. It's what it says on this little teeny tiny charm. You probably can't see it. I keep my camera focused on here. And then there's the carrot. See, that's the carrot where you may have a person here who, like I say, they reach out, they dangle the carrot. Okay. And they're tempting you. You may be tempted by this. So do take the lessons you've learned from the past. Some of you have other opportunities. So like I say, don't um, don't miss other opportunities for somebody who dangles the carrot, okay, who tempts you. But carrots can mean a lot of things. So anybody who knows, uh, it just shows up very randomly. Well, let's have a look at the friends, the family, the, some kind of an event. It looks like there's going to be an event. There's the W. Uh, there's the F. It's possible some of you may have someone who, you know, reached out, kind of dangled something in front of you, and then um, it's possible maybe they didn't follow through. Okay. But yeah, the carrot. Take off the rose-colored glasses and see, but I feel it has to do with them seeing. Okay, maybe it's yourself. You're open. Maybe it's yourself tempting this person. It's definitely temptations here. The carrot comes up. There's definitely temptation. Let's have a look at the Six of Cups. The letter R. There it is. Like I say, two people who are actually a very good fit. You're both different, but very much the same. You see? So it's about seeing each other's differences. Uh, talking things through. So it's like you got an opportunity. You're tempted Okay, or maybe you're reaching out and you're tempting them, but whatever's happening, it's about seeing things clearly. You see, it's about really seeing, um, showing your true selves, your innermost selves. I feel someone didn't show you their innermost self if you have a do-over. Okay, you know, maybe this person didn't feel confident. Maybe, you know, they felt that you were... You know, the Empress can be a little intimidating, that beautiful energy of a lot of abundance. It's like you showered some abundance possibly on someone and you were waiting for reciprocity. So you're sitting here kind of waiting for this person. I'm going to tell you, they're seeing. <laughs> I'll be looking to see if you're seeing anyone if it's a do-over, but 
Definitely there's other opportunities for you. If this one doesn't work out, there's the letter A, there's the letter M, and there's the seashell. So it's about seeing, both people seeing. See, this is someone reminiscing. Yeah, definitely somebody who's thinking about love, their feelings. Some of you may have a crush too. Like I say, you might have a choice. You may have a new crush and then you've got this person tempting you and it looks like you're going to be tempted. Okay. Someone very attractive. Don't just focus. It's always about balance. You know, like I feel some of you, maybe uh, even yourself or it's this person, just take it at uh, physical appearances, everything. Okay, to some people, it's everything. Uh, but it's also an energy of pulling back and looking at it differently. Okay. Looking at what attracts you differently. You know, someone here who's not necessarily focused on the physical. Uh, it could be someone who's more focused on the emotional connection, you see. So, hmm. All right. Let's pull out a couple more for uh, the two of cups. Yeah, so we have a communication between the two of cups, two people talking, communicating, okay, seeing eye to eye. And then we have the confidence and the strength, something long term. And then it's about taking it slow, the turtle. So you take it a little slow, taking more time to get to know each other. And that could be just something that's happened where the rushing in because someone's attractive, vice versa, things moving too fast, right? And then taking a pause and going, oh, this person's not right for me. And then, you know, ending it. Um, but definitely some of you have a have something new um, brewing here. Okay. So it's an energy of showing your true self. Two people showing their innermost selves. Cooperating, compromising, and seeing how compatible you actually are. You see, it's about talking about your differences. The things you like, you don't like. Okay. And just that, you know, like I say, your lifestyles, your habits. So, yeah, see, it's about everything being out in the open. Let's have one more. So there it is, making a choice in love. Some of you have a choice, but it's about going down that path. See, there it is, two choices. Are you going to go for the person who's super physically attractive and may not stick around? Or are you going to find a, something more balanced? See, definitely emotion, but I see two hearts intertwined, two hearts connecting right here. Okay, so it's about choosing the one, choosing the right person. Somebody definitely sees you as the one and definitely can see a person kind of pulling back, reminiscing maybe of a conversation that you had. Okay, somebody's making something from the heart. They might be making you something, some kind of a gift. Maybe it was a carrot cake. <laughs> I see a carrot, <laughs> something being made, a gift. Yeah, it's a temptation, but let's have a look at that carrot. Let's just pull that carrot aside. Something drives me crazy. Tell me about the carrot. Oops, tell me about this carrot. What is it all about? Why is it here? There we go. And we see the Elder of Pentacles. So that's a Queen of Pentacles energy. This is somebody wise, practical, sensible, focused on their finances, someone who's that's about looking into the future. So it's an energy of tempted. Now, I don't know if they're going to tempt you or it's them, but you definitely have something in common. The carrot. What is that? And that's not a nest egg. What is it? I mean, it could. this could lead to some kind of a commitment, two people partnering up. Could be a diamond ring. But I'm not so sure. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up here because I'm actually seeing there's the Ten of Wands, someone taking responsibility. You know, this is someone who's definitely seeing you as responsible, reliable, someone they can count on, a partner. See, this is what you both want. So it's about the two of you, you know, that yin and yang energy. You know, two people who are very much the same yet different. Maybe it's friends, lifestyle, things like that. Okay, and you got love coming in. It looks like it's you deciding if you've got options. I'm telling you, you know, the, the world is your oyster here right now. One more on the lovers. You know, it's a kiss, so it could be taking things to the next level in love. It could be a first kiss. Okay, someone may be a very good kisser. Definitely somebody's very hot. 
okay <laughs> see hot lips <laughs> but definitely very hot very attractive so yeah some things are heating up here all right Saj I wish you the best take care and we'll see you soon